Toys. Today we're going to make three Robo Crafts. Let's start with a Robo Man. It's high time. Cryogenic chamber is still on. Let's first divide a popsicle stick into four equal parts. What's next? Tell me. Ooh, you're a twinkle toe, Sammy. <laughs> All right. Come on, repeat after me. This is the body of our Robo Man. We are going to make its limbs. We'll make a mold of our motor on one of the marks. Sammy, help me! I'm pressing! Woo! Did it work? Perfect! Now we need to drill a hole here. Guys, this stage is quite dangerous. Ask an adult to help you. You must be very careful. While here, we'll make a simple round hole. Watch your fingers! Ta-da! Not bad. Sammy did a great job with the second part. Two? What's it gonna be? What do you think, Sammy? Guys, try to guess two. Well, huh, there's two. And they're on the opposite sides of the body. They're either hands or legs. Bingo! These are robo legs. Quick and strong. Check out what we did with the remaining pieces. Now let's insert a four centimeter piece of a toothpick in this hole. And secure it this way. Uh, uh. Oh, someone's not in a good mood. Tell me, what's the matter? It turns out it's so easy to make a robot. Now he's gonna hibernate for a hundred years to get to the future. Don't worry, Sammy. It's good that you understand that. Otherwise, you'd miss many interesting things. Guys, would you like to go to the future? Give a thumbs up if you want it just like me. I've already secured the sticks with glue. We can proceed. The legs of our robot are going to be long. Seven centimeters from the upper hole to the lower edge. The remaining part will just cut. The robot will need comfortable shoes. Sammy, could you borrow yours? Hey, these ones. No, not these. Oh, I like those so much too. Uh, uh, such a difficult choice. Will these do? Very cute, Sammy. They're so tiny. To make it more comfortable for our robot to walk, we're going to make the sole more stable. Back and front. Hurry up to the robo school! Let's start assembling all the parts. We'll fix the legs with these wooden pieces so our robot doesn't lose its legs. Let's add some glue here and here. There we go, cool! I'll be back, baby. So why is he so lifeless? It's because robots need hearts too, Sammy. Even mechanical ones. You understand what I mean? Right. <laughs> I totally forgot about the battery. We need to attach the wire to the motor. Guys, it's better to ask an adult to help you. So look, I made eyes and a hairstyle for the robot. Just what we need, Sammy. Let's try. Hey, you're such a cutie. Well, buddy, ready for a test drive? Guys, we made the work pieces for the next robot. Check out the parts and their dimensions. Ah, I even had to eat another ice cream for it, but I'm not upset at all. <laughs> what kind of robot are we going to make? It'll have three pairs of legs. Any ideas? Great stick, Sammy. Where'd you get them? I dismantled my old umbrella. Good idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, fortunately, it wasn't my new umbrella. The middle pair of legs will be the leading. It'll also have another shape. Stronger, a little more. Done. We don't need this part. Click. All right, let's attach our legs. Okay, we're on to something. Look, I put the pieces into the motor and fix them with the glue. Now let's just glue it in the middle. Come on, take this! What kind of robot are you anyway? Hey, what's up?
What's going on? <laughs> I guess Sam's got a problem. Sammy, come back! Who's gonna help me with this robot? Guys, check out the caterpillar we've got. Nice. Ugh, the robot doesn't want to help at all. What should I do, Sue? I think it just needs company, Sammy. And soon it'll have a new robo friend. Guys, did you remember that our robot's legs have different lengths? The longest ones are in the middle, and the shortest in the front and back. Let's connect the middle leg with the back one with one rib. And the front one with another rib. This way. We should get a… a caterpillar like this. I think it needs funny eyes. Consider it done, Susan. While Sam is off creating, let's finish the mechanism. We're going to solder the wires to the motor just like we did with the first robot. Look, Susie! I'm a senti eye slime! <laughs> Spectacular! And quite mesmerizing. Guys, soon we'll show you the final result! Making the third robot will be easy peasy after such a challenge. I guess it would be the coolest. Guys, first we're gonna make its legs. Let's connect the pieces with the glue. The feet will be made of popsicle sticks and glue. And now let's repeat the well known action put in a piece of straw. For this craft, we'll need to restock the popsicle sticks. Guys, did you see that video where we made an ice cream machine? Yeah, we're still using it sometimes. If you didn't see it, follow the link on the screen. So, is it true that it's gonna be a dog? Yes, yeah, Sammy. Which dog breed would you like? I'd like it to be a dachshund. Let's make a sausage dog. All right, our robot will have a long body. By the way, Allergic people could own these dogs in the future. The future is here! I can't wait to meet you, buddy! <laughs> Did you give it a name, Sammy? Give a thumbs up if you like the name, buddy! Alright, we've connected the wires. And here's the switch! And the battery? Here it is! Quick! I catch it! I want to go have a walk with my robo-dog! Wait, Sammy, we're at the finish line! But it doesn't look like a dog. What can we do? Hmm. I know. I'm gonna find and bring everything. Wait for me, buddy. <laughs> yep, we're waiting for you. Here are the pieces. Oh, Sammy, so cool. It looks like a real dog. Of course. Our robot must be the best. I won't argue. <laughs> and this is to walk him. Dogs like to have walks. All right. Sammy, it's time to walk buddy. Oh, finally! Come on, buddy! Let's throw a robo race. What do you say? Come on, boy, you can do it! Who's the quickest in your opinion? And the winner is the caterpillar! Who'd have thought? Buddy is second! Woohoo! That's my boy! Phew! The garage sale's over, but some things we couldn't sell. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! Okay, I guess there's still cleaning to be done. I'll be back. What does this have to do with cleaning? Don't you see? We need to clean out this old junk box. No one bought it. That's not junk. That's a box of memories. These, for instance, are the popsicle sticks for my favorite ice cream. Uh, there's so much more. I remember we almost broke the window with this ball while playing with my sister. Oh, we were scolded. 
while here I put the batteries and my old bear could speak. Too, you overheated. It's just some junk. <sighs> well, one can make amazing things out of simple junk, you know. And if it doesn't work, the trash bag is always here. No way. We're going to make something very extraordinary. All right, fine. I give this junk another chance. Hi, guys. Let's get started with our craft. You still didn't tell us what you're planning to make. Look, we've got a motor. And these wires. Huh, let me think. Uh, are ya gonna make a game? No. Uh, a sharpener? A coin box? Tell me! <laughs> Sammy, a robot. A robot? Made of junk? Yes. Here, I'm going to show you how you can make something really cool and very unusual out of the most useless junk stuff. <laughs> I've already prepared little wooden pieces and painted them. We love bright crafts. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Great! Guys, we'll need two pieces like these. Now, let's glue them to the motor this way. Guys, be careful working with the hot glue. Or ask an adult to help you. Phew! I got carried away with the wood pieces and made two more! <laughs> Good job, Sammy. Let's glue them as well. Huh. Now this reminds me of something. Well, what exactly? A little man. <laughs> right, Sam. But it's just the beginning. Let's continue. This will be a human-like robot. It'll need legs and hands to move. There. See? So, are you gonna use even these papers to make the robot? Sure, they're very useful. Check it out. Twist the paper stripe around the stick tightly. And add some glue to fix it better. Got it. I'm on it. Oh, what do you mean? Here! Is it good? Yeah, you're so quick, Sam. Quick? We could make a house for a hamster during the time we're making these tiny pieces. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you for your advice, Sam. But I'm busy making a personal driver for a hamster. What? I said a personal driver. Our hamster will sit in a carriage pulled by this robot. How lucky hamster. Well, if you got this, of course. Sam, why are you so skeptical? Sam. Huh. Already gone. Whatever. Check it out, guys. Our robot's base is ready. Let's get to the carriage. Our carriage will have the most beautiful and bright wheels. Ha! Yeah! Defend yourself, Sue! Come on! Oh, now that's serious. Ha ha! See? I won. Admit it. I was right. You can't make a robot out of junk. Hmm. Are you sure? What are you doing, Sue? Up. Now you have two swords. <laughs> Sue? Hey, check out this trick. Up. Now they're four. Actually, they're even eight. Now these pieces are going to become the wheel spokes. Sam, could you do the same with the second wheel, please? The trick's not to become a piece yourself. I made the most solid wheel in the world. I think our hamster will be grateful. All right, this is the main part of our carriage. It will hold all the construction. Let's secure the wheel with some glue. And the second one. You mean the world's best one? <laughs> exactly, Sammy. Now, let's check. <gasps> Look, Sammy! The 
carriage is moving! It's time to create some comfort. According to the design I came up with, this carriage should have a real chair. Oh, shoo! So you weren't kidding about the personal carriage for the hamster? Nope. Sammy, you kinda surprise me. I mean, <laughs> we've made so many different crafts together. Besides, I never joke about these things. If you're serious, I guess I'll get to be as serious as possible, too. I made this out of wire and felt. Wow, really? <gasps> nice job, Sammy. Yep, I found some felt scraps and decided to use them. I'm gonna bring something more. Ooh, interesting. What have you got there? Catch it! <gasps> Soft pillows? <gasps> How lovely, Sammy! Well, well, well. Done! The final touch. Well, it looks fine, but I still don't believe this thing can work. Oh, Sammy, Mr. Dubious. Look. First, let's glue our charioteer, which is also a motor. And it will work with the help of... This big red button. Sammy, everything works with the help of the big red button. <laughs> Come on, even I know that the switch tries nothing without wires and electricity. You can't fool me. Yeah, well, you got me. Guys, ask an adult to help you with the wires. The next step is also dangerous. Who entrusted it to me? Alright, now the only thing remains is to hide the wires. I think this way, it'll look more neat. So, aren't we missing a head? Oops, right. We'll make it out of this ping pong ball. But first, we need to glue the neck. Neck snack! While you were messing with it, I created a masterpiece. Oh, that's so beautiful! <gasps> okay, let's glue the head. And put it on its place. Done! It does look like a robot, but it's not moving. Anyway, since your craft worked out, you saved tons of trash from recycling, and... Oh! Did it just do it? it it's moving! Wow, but how? Sammy, you helped me. See? It worked out really well. So, should we bring our hamster and watch him ride? Uh-huh. We made it for him. Mr. Hamster, your comfy carriage is ready! Have a nice ride! Look! I guess our hamster likes to look around. Sue, so, I think it's a bit too slow for him, so uh, he decided to challenge the rickshaw. Guys, give a thumbs up if you liked our carriage! And subscribe to our channel to see more crafts of junk! I mean, of cardboard and sticks! <laughs> Bye, guys. And now, it's my turn!